has no report. We have one citizen wishing to be heard. Is that uh, Jacinta Howell? Okay, if you would, please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. My name is Jacinta Howell, and I live at 3582 Beulah Circle. Okay. Ready? Yes, ma'am. Go right ahead. So um, I'm coming before you today, and forgive me for speaking fast, but I've only been given five minutes. I felt that the most appropriate thing um, to do for my five minutes was to read a post that I made on Facebook regarding the concerns that I had. So I'll go ahead and read that for you. So again, this is an open letter to Lowndes County and the City of Aldosta Engineering Department. Feel free to share and like and add comments as I would like these departments to take some action on these situations. So to whom it may concern, I am writing this letter out of concern for multiple issues that I have continuously noticed regarding the road maintenance and infrastructure in the roads in Lowndes County and Valdosta city limits. This is in no way to attempt to shame or any particular person or department but to bring to light these issues in order that they may be given uh, careful consideration and fixed as deemed necessary. As a citizen who's lived in Lowndes County for over 20 years, I've seen this county and the city grow in number, but unfortunately, our road infrastructure has not caught up with that growth, making it what seems like a battle nearly every time we travel in this area. Now, it's true that each driver has the responsibility of driving as safely as possible, but at the same time, the individuals responsible for the actual road setup have the responsibility to mitigate any potential dangers they may have inadvertently created by their structure or how they are set up. In my personal opinion, the county and city are failing in that area, leading to dangerous travel, increased road rage, and frustrations as well. So let me provide you with a few examples, some of which I have personally called and reported, but have not seen any changes regarding. So the intersection of Oak Street Extension and Bemis Road, there's a gas station that's located there. I hope you guys are all familiar with where I'm talking about, um, the Flash Foods gas station located there. At multiple times during the day, there are people that are at that light turning left off of Oak Street Extension onto Bemis. And at the same time, um, multiple times throughout the day, there's someone turning off of Bemis onto Oak Street Extension and then wanting to make that immediate, immediate left into the gas station though there are double yellow lines that indicate that this should not be happening. Um, I'm trying to skip a little for the sake of time, um, but they can't complete the turn because of those cars that are trying to actually turn onto Bemis. So what this actually causes is a traffic backup into Bemis Road. I have personally witnessed this happening with school buses. The last thing you want is a school bus hanging out in the middle of an intersection on Bemis. Um, again, I've per personally witnessed this on multiple occasions which led me to call the engineering department, this is a couple months ago, I understand there has been a change in um, leadership there, um, to request for a no, left, a no left turn sign to be put at that location, which really just reinforces what the road actually already states to do based on the double yellow line. However, that request was not honored and I received no follow up on it. Bemis Road in itself is a hazard. Yes, there's been many improvements and the reduction in head-on head on collisions from the days in which the divider didn't exist, because again, I've lived here long enough to, to see that change in Bemis Road. However, there's still an abundance of hazards that exist. Individuals turning left onto Bemis Road from whatever intersection often hang out in the middle um, divide as a waiting area until the traffic clears in the direction in which they are wanting to travel. This causes issues with individuals that are using that same turning lane to make a U-turn. I, again, have personally seen this cause, um, cause accidents and nearly cause accidents on a daily basis. This problem could simply be alleviated if signs were put up stating that U-turns have the right-of-way or if traffic lights were installed at those particular intersections where this happens frequently, i.e. Bemis Road and Pine, um, Old Pine Road, Bemis Road and Huntley Drive, which is by Taco Bell, and Bemis Road and Knights Academy. Traffic flow. Certain intersections that would be much better served and flow better if there were traffic lights put there in place. Two examples that I come up with off the top of my head are Forest Street Extension and Knights Academy Road, and also Lake Lori Road and Cherry Creek. Accidents and near accidents happen frequently there because people are trying to find a gap in traffic so just to get where they're going. If there was a sensor traffic light there, the flow would be much better, and I, th I believe the accidents re would re be reduced as well. These are just a few areas of my concern, things that I pointed out. Um, in below on this post, there were many people 
who actually commented of other intersections that they would love to see improvements on and other road areas, including the road that runs in front of Walmart, where they recently just actually repaired. I actually had to call the city marshal for that to get repaired. So what I'm saying is there could be a lot of improvements made, but somebody is lacking in terms of enforcing these, these things and taking a look and seeing what improvements can actually be made. If the city is growing, the road infrastructure needs to be keeping up with it. Thank you, ma'am. No other citizens? Okay. Any other business? Motion to adjourn. Okay. I have a motion to adjourn.